I, I got these two kids to start a fight outside the PTA um, office so they weren't looking through the window. Oh my I then God. lit the firecrackers and rolled them into the window. Can Roll, I just I ask you a bit? Just, I, do, I hate to interrupt you on this story because it's wonderful, but I just need... How did you manage to persuade two kids to have a fight to act as a decoy? <laughs> Bribery. This is Nigeria. So, Nigeria. Um, I... <laughs> <laughs> As you revealed on um, Rod Gilbert's Growing Pains on Comedy Central, not sure when we're putting this podcast out, but maybe the series is still on. Check it out, 9pm, Comedy Central, Rod Gilbert's Growing Pains. You were a bit of a, a bit of a tearaway as a teenager. Yes, sadly. You revealed, sadly. You revealed a few things on that uh, programme, the bill. Let's hear the worst one. You know, like the light and the witch of the wardrobe, we'll call it the firecrackers, the, the staff room and the examination papers. <laughs> yeah. So secondary school in Nigeria is like a, it's like a, a contact sport. Like it's, it's very competitive. And right. um, so much so that you get your position on your report card. Yeah. Uh, so like if there's 29 kids, your parents not only find out how that you're stupid, but exactly how stupid you are oh. if you're 29th. After, you know, now, I had a friend, like, I was one of those kids that didn't need to study to pass. I would get up to all sorts of shenanigans, and I'd still do well. But my partner in crime, who was two years older than me, he wasn't like that. He was one of those, well, most people that needed to study. And because he was keeping up with me and my insanity, he didn't do so well in his mock exam, right? And you have to take a mock exam before yeah. the school decides whether or not it will let you sit your GCSEs. Oh, God. So this guy told me that, Bro, I absolutely flunked my exams. I'm finished. And in Nigeria, that's a huge thing. Oh. Like, that's the, we take education very seriously. So I was like, you know what? <laughs> Technically, it's my fault that you're about to fail. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. <laughs> and I got like a big, empty, like equivalent of a coffee tin. I got a whole bunch of firecrackers. <laughs> I stuffed them in there. We take education very seriously. Yeah. So I got this so, big coffee tin full, full of, of firecrackers. Full of uh, explosives. <laughs> and, uh, I, I got these two kids to start a fight outside the PTA um, office so they weren't looking through the window. Oh my I then God. lit the firecrackers and rolled them into the window. Can Roll, I just I ask you a bit? Just, I, do, I hate to interrupt you on this story because it's wonderful, but I just need... How did you manage to persuade two kids to have a fight to act as a decoy? <laughs> Bribery. This is Nigeria. So, um, I... <laughs> yeah, hang on. So the kids are fighting outside. So all the teachers are watching the kids fight. Yeah. Yep. All You're the right. teachers are going, fight, 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 fight. 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 So they, Pretty so they... much, to be honest, that is what teachers would do when you go into a fight. <laughs> teachers would be like, if two students start fighting in class in Nigeria, she's like, no, leave them. When they're tired, they'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> there wow. is no hold me back. He's like, oh, you want to fight? Go on then. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> see what happens when you fight go on yeah. so, so there um, you are now so there we are now they're fighting okay, outside the so teachers are watching yeah, yeah what so do you I do? rolled the tin in through the window because I know that like um, the exams have been marked right but whoever's marking them is not going to remember everything by head and they have to enter it manually into the computer system uh, you know so as soon as um, the uh, <laughs> as soon as the firecrackers start going off Obviously, the tin, it's even louder. Yeah. And, you know, they all start running. And I forget to mention, Nigeria was just transitioning oh into God. democratic rule at the time. <laughs> we kind of oh had nice, a... nice bit of context. <laughs> it's nice to put it in historical context, this story. Yeah. I mean, we were safe because we were in a government-restricted area. But still, you know, um, it was yeah. an effective smokescreen. Yeah, but, that, must um... have that must have made such a noise. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Especially with the low ceilings in the staff room. It was, it was brilliant. <laughs> Would have been great for a comedy performance. Uh, anyway, so they all go diving. And I must say, I was disappointed because they did not go through any of the fire safety stuff that they taught us. They just ran. <laughs> right. So, oh, man. Just say. So um, uh, I, uh, I, I left him through the window, <laughs> stole all the exam papers, left out, went to a field somewhere, burnt the papers, but not before I left my um, tag on no. the um the teacher's table because i had a, a nickname um, i remember Orogi. i began with an o yeah yeah Orogi. so i spray painted it yeah i <laughs> spray painted it on the oh, table but, hang on so what you spray painted to... the table to show that's your tag so you to show that yeah. you've been there yeah i got you fuckers again 
Because I, yeah. I, this was part of a number of things I did in school uh, at the time. I was the, the pain in my teacher's uh, existence. But <laughs> law of the pranks that I pulled, they, di- they didn't know was me. Right. right. And um, by the way, my friend got to reset his exams and now yes. he's a pilot. No so, way. You know. <laughs> yeah. He's a pilot. Yeah. He's still thick as shit, yeah. but he's a pilot. <laughs> yeah, should he be a pilot? <laughs> <laughs> he's a so really shit like pilot. <laughs> How a guy with a name like Abdul is a pilot in America is amazing in itself. But I'm very... Can I make this stuff up? So, um, you know, they, they tried to, like, make the school grasp up who it was. Like, who's Oroge? And all the boys were like, I'm Oroge, I'm Oroge. <laughs> it was like a big Spartacus yeah. moment. And years later, in, um, a few years later, in assembly, they, they announced who's being made prefects in front of the whole school every single year. And I get nominated as a prefect. And as I come forward to accept it, my friends are like, so happy they start chanting my name but they chant the wrong one and I'm no. like oh, okay. I'm just like what? Oh, you no. know what you? <laughs> just as you're about to get the badge <laughs> oh man I can't remember did you get the badge the prefect's badge or oh. was it <laughs> was proceedings oh, brought I mean, to a close I I, it, oh, they, I still got it but um, I got a whole bunch of other stuff too <laughs> you know like uh <laughs> You know how in England smacking kids is uh is, is is it's illegal, but it didn't become illegal straight away. They put in a bunch of laws to make it harder. Like you can't bruise the child. Well, let's just say that doesn't really work in Nigeria because we don't bruise. So yeah, um, after... <laughs> yeah, that, that oh, was not love. a fun year. That was not a fun year. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Such a story. Story, Thank you. Now listen, I'm going to read you this. I'm going to right. So, you, but you don't drink. So, so you'll never have done anything. Well, maybe you have with your uh, with your checkered past. Maybe you will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's your here's your story. Uh, drunk man breaks into family's home and poos in their kettle. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! What a skill! What a what spout, before, <laughs> spouting before napping on the sofa. I'll read you the story. Here comes the story. A family was startled. Of course. Well, they were away. <laughs> well, a family was startled to find a drunk stranger in their house, but were even more shocked to find that he'd vomited on their kitchen floor and defecated in the kettle. <laughs> oh, my God. That's insane. <laughs> There's a picture of the kettle. When? I think it's before or after. It's not, I mean, it's not literally during, anyway. Has, <laughs> has he got a handle at the top of it? Yeah, what kind of kettle is it? It, it is a it is a white. I mean, I can tell you this because I used to work in Curry's. So I, I used so to work got in the Curry's sales Electrical. Pattern down. Curry's Electrical, Carmarthen, two A, Lam, uh, two Lamber Street. Curry's Electrical. When I was a kid, I can tell you that this is a jug kettle, okay. right? And I would okay. guess it's a Phillips, but I can't tell because the shot is from above. So he, might be a Morphe Richards then. It could be a Morphe Richards. Guys, you know your kettles. I know my kettles. It's a jug kettle, so that's a high, tall. Comedians a tall know one. kettles. Tall one, quite a thin kettle. And the top, the top will pop open. The top I will know. pop. I know the open. top will pop open to put water in. Yeah, I mean it's quite remarkable. I'll read off. Quite remarkable. I've read somewhere that you know in um, uh, travel lodges and stuff. Mm. One yep. of the kettle. big complaints. So do yeah. you know this? That people, I've heard people. This. Piss in the kettles. P- well, or boil their underpants. Like, clean their underpants <laughs> no. in the little travel kettle. I fear and that people masturbate into kettles. In, I mean, I, uh, <laughs> Kettle abusers, yeah. Maybe it's that's, the same That's person. why I don't make coffee in hotel rooms. I never make coffee in hotel rooms because I know about kettle abusers. And I'm, yeah. <laughs> kettle abusers. Kettle abusers. Yes, no we, we should is stop it, using kettles in Is it true, do you I use them all the time, the mini kettle. I think, yeah. No. I always get really excited by the little mini kettle and I've the biscuits. I've heard people clean their pants in them. Maybe that's after they've had a... <laughs> I don't mind if people clean their pants in them. I do. What do you mean you don't mind? Well, when no, I, I get, mean you don't mind. When, I, when I'm in a hotel and there's a, ke- a kettle, a mini kettle in there, I would always boil it through once first and then use this. And then, so, and then the take set. the pants so out. No, so if somebody's <laughs> washed their pants in there a few days earlier or a few months, I don't mind because I've boiled A few it. months earlier. I don't mind too much. No one's boiling their pants in kettles. They are. It's, it's well, 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 why wouldn't they just put the pants in the sink and pour boiling water over them? Why would you put them in a, a mini stay, kettle? Why would you, know. you stuff your pants into a mini kettle? <laughs> Because people are insane. <laughs> people aren't that insane, they are they? Are. Nabil, Nabil, I mean, we've established Nabil's pretty insane. Would you have you ever done that? Have anything? you ever washed your pants in a kettle, Nabil? No, God no. <laughs> what kind of monster do you take me for? <laughs> <laughs> 
It says here, uh, I mean, <laughs> the family were shocked to find a stranger. So they found him in the house. An anonymous mum. I can, see, I can see why she wanted to stay anonymous when somebody's just shutting her kettle. An anonymous mum posted her find on the Spotted in Yeovil Facebook page. I was in Yeovil a couple of weeks ago on tour. Very nice place. Didn't realise this kind oh, of thing okay. Right. So spotted you didn't just book a travel lodge? You just decided to... She so put on Facebook... Spot, why did she spot... Hang on, I've spotted my kettle full of someone else's feces. This is what she posted. And I'm going to put that on <laughs> that website. She posted... <laughs> Pictures of the man asleep on her couch. <gasps> he fell asleep. He didn't get so away. He, he broke into their house. <gasps> Basically, what happened, says here, she says, at the weekend, my husband left our conservatory door open after I'd gone to bed and forgot to close it. Sunday morning, 5 a.m.-ish, my little girl goes downstairs <gasps> to watch TV <laughs> instead of waking us up, but immediately comes back upstairs saying there's a man downstairs talking to himself. <laughs> oh my God. Didn't Robert Downey Jr. do this? Yeah, Just break into he? someone's house. I'll read on. It might be Robert Downey Jr. Who knows? He's had a shit in yeah. their <laughs> You're not going to believe this. i got good news and bad news. Hey, darling, i got good news Robert and bad Downey news. Jr. Somebody's had a shit in the kettle. You're not Robbie... going to believe it. It was Robert Downey Jr. He's downstairs. He's, He's downstairs. rehearsing a, a film. Robert Downstairs Jr. <laughs> I thought it was just her imagination. Half asleep, I told her to go back to bed, and I'm going back to bed. Anyway. Later, I go down to make a cup of tea and make breakfast around seven. She didn't check. Turns out there is a man talking to himself downstairs. <laughs> oh, my God. He's still talking to himself an hour and a half later. I would go down and check if my kid said that. Then the, So she posted a picture of the, the vomit, which I won't show you. It is a kitchen floor with vomit all over it. We can imagine that. We, yeah, we've, we seen, imagine we've that. seen vomit on a kitchen floor before. She posted a picture of the man who seems to be holding his crotch and talking to himself. <laughs> <laughs> As you on, do on the sofa, and she posted a, a picture of the kettle. I'm not sure if this they've they've <laughs> they've Pixelated blurred it? the kettle the inside of the kettle. I'm guessing that they've blurred the dirt inside it. Hang on, why is she just taking photos of everything instead of freaking out? She took a photo of all three of them and posted them on the Facebook Yeovil Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she threw the kettle away. You know what's mad though? You know, you know when you've usually had a big shock, the first thing you do is have a cup of tea, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and if you enjoyed that, why not listen to the whole podcast? It is the froth available on iTunes, uh, iTunes, Acast, Acast uh, Spotify, Spotify. Anywhere you usually get your podcasts. Wherever you usually get your podcasts, YouTube. You can like, rate, subscribe, comment, say uh, nice things comment, about it. Say nice things. And hit Hit the bell icon. Hit at the, the bell icon on YouTube so that you will be alerted when the videos are uploaded. uploaded. Check it out. It is the froth. Yesterday's, Yesterday's non-news non -news today. today.